Hello there, my beautiful Leos, and welcome to your Leo Plus Libra love reading for the month of November 2022. We are getting feelings, actions, outcome, and ending oracle between Leos who are connected, interested, and or curious about a Libra. Libra, you're most welcome here as well. Libra and Leo, please keep in mind that some of you, the reading can resonate backwards, reverse, flipped. You may end up on their side. They may end up on your side. Please assign the roles as you wish. Take what messages are yours and leave the rest behind. So let's get started. This is for Leo plus Libra. And if you are looking for a different sign, check the channel. If it's not out already, ring the bell, subscribe so you're alerted of the sign you're looking for's release. Please show me the feelings towards each other. Leo's feelings for Libra and Libra's feelings for Leo. All right, here we go. We have the Six of Wands for you, the Moon, and the Ten of Wands. Um, Libra's feelings for you are the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, Leo, you have the Six of Wands, the Moon, and the Ten of Wands. I feel like you weren't feeling that seen by this person. I feel like um, it's just giving me that energy where you just didn't feel, maybe you didn't feel listened to, or you don't feel listened to. You just don't look like you feel seen by this individual. And it's almost causing you to feel like you want to keep more to yourself because you don't want to have to be like putting on a performance for someone to notice you or put on a performance for someone to give you some recognition or attention or reassurance of the connection. So you kind of are looking like here in your energy that it's almost burdensome or pretty difficult for you to even have feelings for this person. Six of Wands at first, maybe, or you did feel like, hey, this could be great. This could be victorious. But in your feelings right now, you're kind of looking like they're too heavy to carry. Um, the Libra energy is coming in with the Magician, the High Priestess, and the Page of Pentacles. So Libra has been quite to themselves with the High Priestess, especially possibly about how emotionally connected they feel towards you, or just in the sense of giving offers. They've been working on what offer they want to give to you. I don't know if like the speed is not up to par with you or the way they offer things is not up to par. But this Libra is thinking and feeling like they want to offer more or they want to apologize to you. They want to offer you something in the physical here. Page of Pentacles for me is like asking somebody to hang out or get together or something like that. Um, High Priestess here as well in their energy with the Libra. You may have, and you have the moon. So you may have felt like this Libra got attention from other people and they were hiding it. You, you both have energies of hidden energy. So I, I feel like there maybe were too many secrets in this connection or there's too much unknown between the two of you right now. It looks like it's definitely making you want to drop the connection. Um, Libra is in an energy of figuring out what they want to do. So let's see what the actions are and see what's going on here. I feel like you might have feelings for this Libra. It's like you don't want to have them though. Yeah, that's what I got. Let's see. Show me Leo's actions towards Libra and what are Libra's actions towards Leo. And I get that, you know, like Leos don't want to like guess. They don't want to wonder. Um, They don't want to like have to like pick and like figure something out. It's like love should not be an equation. Love should not be like math. <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's see. Leo's uh, actions towards Libra and what will be Libra's actions towards Leo. All right, your actions are the Page of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. You may work with this person or go to school with this person, or is there like a third connection here that also could be stopping the openness of feelings? Maybe you two are in the same friend group or something like that. Or maybe um, there is a fear of not being accepted and family, friends. Let's see. They have the two of wands, the five of cups, and the lovers. Okay. I, I get a sense of like... Okay, let's let's storyline this. Um, if you are in a relationship with your with a Libra, there's like a can we get together? Can we work things out? Can we figure out how to like 
be more hopeful in this connection or is it just best to choose a new path? Like that's what I see being up in the air for November. Um, you actually do look interested in compromising if this person showed that they could work together with you. But with the eight of swords here, it does look like you're all up in your head on, do I drop it? Do I wait for it? Do I drop it? Do I wait for it? So I see a Libra confusing you here, or at least you look confused. Um, but it also could be an institution, a workplace scenario that's causing a sense of fear and uncertainty because there is another energy involved here. They have the two of wands, the five of cups, and the lovers. So they do feel a strong soulmate connection to you. Um, you could be dealing with a Libra who's a little bit pessimistic. Like they only know how to complain or they only know how to see the worst in things. Or this person is really good at seeing the worst in things. Let's see. Why is the lovers here? Their actions towards Leo. Seven of wands. The world. I think this person. Oh gosh. The ace of wands. All right, if you are in a connection with this person, it's kind of like make or break right now. I see them fighting for the connection to reconcile or reunite. Um, I don't know what they were doing before, but there it does look like they're going to put up a little bit of a fight here for the connection to not be over. Others of you, I feel like this Libra is just acting like they don't have feelings for you when they do. I'm about to expose this person, honestly. They have extreme feelings for you or they feel a lot more connected to you than they make it seem. And I feel like that's why you have the moon because you're intuitively picking up on it. But like there is like this uncertainty of it's like, am I just trying to hope this person has feelings for me or am I really picking up on it? No, they do. I just don't think they know what they want fully in this connection or with a person or with you, whether they're a past person or a new person. If they are from the past, it looks like they're going to fight for this connection to not end. They still want you in their life. Um, they could have been MIA, though, in their feelings. Um, or this is just a new individual who they feel this connection to you, but they don't really know what to do with it. So interesting. That's what I got. Let's see what the outcome is between the two of you. I almost get like an indirect sort of fight too, where this person is putting up a fight to stay in your life or to still have this connection, but like almost in a way that you can't really tell if they're fighting for the connection or if they're just like trying to tell you that they feel like it, it might be a little confusing. All right, let's see what the outcome is between the two of you here. Show me the outcome between Leo and Libra. Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Fool, and the Page of Wands. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a spark, a re-spark, um, reignite to the flame, or at least an attempt to do that here. But it definitely could have been something that felt away from you for quite some time, or just very, like, confusing for you. Let's see what the Oracle is. Show me one for Leo and one for Libra. Definitely an energy of newness for the both of you, if y'all want to take it. Let's see, Leo, you have self-worth. Mm -hmm. I felt that. I really did feel that. Wanting to be seen more for who you are and how amazing you are. Um, you don't want to have to, like, do other things. Like, you just want to be, you just want to sit down and be seen for how amazing you are. They have devotion. All right, so they're going to start giving... Oh, there it is. They're going to start giving you more time and energy. They are coming in with more of that in their actions. Even in their feelings, we see them thinking about it. Um, let's see what the oracle is for the lover's oracle at a, as, a, as advice for this connection. Okay, we got this card here as your advice. And it says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So there are blessings of love coming your way. Um, in whatever way, shape or form you can resonate to this connection definitely could be if you've been wishing for that from a Libra, others of you, um, wishing from that from something else definitely could be, but with the energy of the outcome, um, there's a strong need to drop this individual or any 
energy connected to them for blessings of love if you don't want it from this person. So in terms of zodiac signs in the spread that could also be in your choose charts, we have Gemini, we have Pisces, strong Pisces, we have Virgo, and we have Leo and Aries. So thank you, my beautiful Leos and Libra, if you're here, thank you as well. Manifestation kits are officially on sale. We have wish flash paper and candle kits. Anybody who orders a kit in November, December, January will get a 2023 year of the rabbit fortune scratch off. And if you do end up buying one of these kits as a gift, please mark it as a gift and let me know who it's for. And I'll personalize it for them and their zodiac sign. There's a drop down to choose your zodiac sign on um, each kit. So thank you so very much, my beautiful Leos, and I'll see and talk to all of y'all very soon. Bye now.